never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. We've got a son, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby boy. Oh, oh James. We did it. A son. A beautiful son. You've got a bright future ahead of you, son. I'm sure of it. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, little guy. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about... That's a good name, don't you think? Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. going to look a lot like your dad. See that, Catherine? Oh, oh, very strapping. <laughs> it's a big world out there, son, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person are you going to be? J You're James? just a... Catherine? James? Catherine! She's in Something's cardiac arrest. Start compression. Get the baby out of here. Move, move! One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. Come on. Hang on, Catherine. Hang on. Okay? Just remember one thing. We need a doctor, not a dead man. This one's on the house. Fail to meet my expectations no. and there will be to look straight into the light. James and his cheery charity. Decorations. Your future to right and boys in this place will feel just like home. Come on over here, son. Come on. Walk to daddy. There you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. 
Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Quite the little explorer, aren't you? Serves me right for trying to pin you in. Come on over here. I want to show you something. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. He always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. These experiments don't be a damn fool. We experiment to prepare. We prepare to survive. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. Stay more than you months. blinded the poor kid. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother... young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn ten, well. Are you are ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh... What, are you two best friends? Friends now? Hey, Wally! I think 
Having a good time. How do you like that Pip Boy, son? Fit all right and everything? That one I've been saving just for you, though. The A series is a bit heavier than some. I bet. Wasn't easy keeping it. Go on. Happy birthday, Jason. Having fun. Are you having a nice party? I would not. I hope. This party's pretty good, I guess. Go ahead, you can eat the sweet oh, food. No. Good it's your birthday, but... but... Hey! <laughs> I think his girlfriend a modest... Get lost, butt bro. I'm hungry, and that stupid... You were a piece of cake, but... Happy... Happy... Happy birthday! Happy birthday! But you're such an idiot. Just ignore him. That jerk! Oh well. This is Butch we're talking about. Happy birthday, Sonny. Daddy, I told you not to act. Happy birthday. Are you having a nice time? I'm sure of it. Happy Amata. birthday. Never suspected a thing. Now go on and enjoy on, yourself. Wally. You always have good Listen, ideas. Listen, once you have finished being a good host, yeah. I have got something one, I want to show you. The I know you were busy Super with the cool, right? Happy, 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 Happy birthday, Wally. You're ahead of Happy birthday, Sonny. Don't worry about me and Andy. So, got her all what do you think we should call our game? Good as new. It's got to be totally I wasn't worried. I hope you appreciate How about the vault blow? You get it? Anyway, you've grown up. You should go around all day being called How's it going, pal? You're going to be really sorry you messed with me, Paul. How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations, you know. I can't you know. believe you're ten already. Now you let me know if that Pip Boy ever gives you any trouble. I can't believe you're ten already. Your you let me know if that Pip Boy ever gives you any trouble. Hey there, pal. You know, having fun? I'm glad you could make it. I'm glad to be here. I think it's Listen, important to keep once you're finished being a good host, it's part of my job. I want to show. You guys are dumb. Go on. Somebody's got to have a better idea than those. Isn't this? Isn't this oh, oh, great? Happy. Oh, man, this is Happy birthday, one. Sonny. Go on, Mingle. What do you guys think? I can't think? believe you're ten. Hmm. Jonas? Hey, God, Listen. Having a nice time. Hey there, pal. So having fun? Just goofy. They've got teeth and everything, right? Um... Jonas? What about the tunnel rats? Hey, Doc. Or are rats We're all set down up? here. You and your Thanks. snakes and I'll rats. I'll send them right... Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little... Sup Jonas... Wizards. Shut up and let me think of it. Did you have a nice time? Happy birthday, dear. What are you doing down here, young man? I... Oh, I see. Now that you're ten, you're all business. Well then, happy birthday, by the way. Hang on one more minute. I think... Your dad is waiting to give you your present. Or... Your dad is waiting to give you your present. Or should we just keep it? Are you ready for your surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy and your old and... Your own... You know how... So, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down our door. Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Happy birthday, buddy. Well, what do you think? You can... I'm sorry you feel that way.
Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less rad roach. Let's get a... Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with the big game up. Good work. Let's get a picture together. Capture them. Stand next... Stand next... Stand next... Stand next to your dad and I'll get a nice picture of you. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. Right. Anyway, so I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any kind of special Tell treatment. Revelation 21-6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to... The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. You'll do fine. It's and most. Hey. Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man before class, eh? Morning, Jonas. Morning, Doc. How's things? Did you know? Okay. Oh, you have a chance to look over these resources? I was just going over them. I can show you a weird tunnel. History. American industry. I just like to God, keep Butch, on. why don't you just leave me alone? She thinks she's better than this. Leave me alone. What's the matter? Daddy's girl gonna cry. Don't mess with the tunnel snakes. What? I <laughs> show it to her, Butch. Stay away from me. You think you're special? Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it... Because your daddy is the overseer? Hi, Stanley. Sorry to keep you waiting. What seems to be the trouble today? I've got this headache that just won't go away. Even with the pills you gave me last week? It's the lights, I think. They hurt my eyes. Hey. Back off. You don't want to be the first class in here. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate but the doctor stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. 
Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment? Question eight. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question nine. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. I'm thinking of going with Buzz Hold Overseer off, no for the last oh, lead. Oh, hi. What did you uh, why are you talking to me? Back off. Look, Square, I already told you. We got nothing to say to each other. Thank thanks for your... Huh. I wonder who will be brave enough to be your first customer as the vault's new tattoo artist. Your help, jerk. It's good to know I can count on you when I'm in trouble. Oh, look, it's Doc's kid. Great. You are, what do you want, nerd boy? Anything is possible, even an A. Daddy, Mr. Proctor, is here to save you now. Is he going to get back so to work? Selfish and insubordinate. Wake up! Come you on, need to wake know up! These things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on! You've got to wake up! You've got to get out of here! Your dad is gone, and my father's men are looking for you! There he is. Hold it right there. Crime anymore, roaches. Had enough. Hey, get it off me. Gotcha now. You want some more? My mom's trapped in there with the her quarters will be dealt with severely. There. Butchie, help me! Stop it! Butchie, help me! Help me! 
Just go away and leave me alone. Just go away and leave me alone. Chance, don't you see? It's me, Tom Holt. Just let. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh.
He's opening the vault door. Get the overseer. We need this door open now. Oh! 